let no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So he warns us, don't be fooled. And then again in verses 23 through 26 we read, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. And then in verse 36 we read, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. No man knows the hour. If anyone out there believes in a pre-trib rapture, I'm not going to argue the point. Just be sure you're spiritually prepared just in case. Pride enables us to believe we aren't appointed to physical wrath, while Christians all over the globe are being hunted and killed like animals. Spiritual wrath, however, is something very different from physical wrath, and we're promised salvation, and as such, we are exempt of spiritual wrath. But beyond that, we were warned repeatedly that others would come using Jesus' name. We were specifically warned to look out for false prophets and great signs and wonders. I for one can't imagine a greater sign and wonder than a false rapture meant to crush and demoralize the Christian community while indoctrinating the rest of the world into the Antichrist religious system. Satan's had an awfully long time to plan out this end times deception. I personally feel it would be a grave and dangerous mistake for any Christian to underestimate the cunning nature and deceptive power of the serpent. Thursdays on the Edge.
and religious news, supernatural happenings, unexplained mysteries, conspiracy theories, and special guests along with your calls right here on The Edge Radio Broadcast with your host, Daniel Ott. Do you feel like I do? Are you getting a feeling The Edge Radio Broadcast is growing? Well, if so, you're right. The Edge program has been hitting the bullseye of what people are interested in. Do you feel like I do? We're now broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, from the new EBN, the Edge Broadcasting Network. We've added a web store. We're making a difference in the search for truth. And we're sharing our success with you. Do you feel like I do? From around the world, people are listening. They're sending in their stories and comments. They're making guest suggestions. They're telling their friends about the show. Do you feel like I do? Listen every Saturday night, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and feel like I do, right here on this station. China's consistent use of excessive military force to stifle dissent has resulted in widespread human rights abuses, including multiple cases of arbitrary arrest, political imprisonment, torture and execution. Human rights groups have documented at least 60 deaths of peaceful demonstrators since 1987, and there is thought to be many, many more. In Tibet, human rights groups have confirmed by name over 700 political prisoners, although they are likely to be hundreds more whose names are not confirmed. Many are detained without charge or trial for up to four years through administrative regulations entitled Re-Education Through Labour. China is a major player on the international economic scene and many Western businesses have their interests over there. They make vast profits out of cheap sweatshop labor. China's human rights record is abysmal. This regime is both oppressive, totalitarian and they don't give a damn about the freedom of the individual or the freedom of speech. In recent weeks, the oppressive Chinese regime have dealt a vile blow to freedoms in Tibet. Monks have been killed, innocent people have died. Most Western governments are just paying lip service against these abuses. They are not going to do a thing, for they have too many business interests there. They make too much profit out of sweatshop labor. So it's up to us. Go to the Edge's Action page at theedgeam.com and make a difference. We are running three actions on this oppressive regime in China. That's the edgeam.com forward slash edge action. Do you think you can make a difference in a world where there is so much injustice? Does this 